All right, so I got a new fuel pump. And here's the old fuel pump down here. And it mounts in this way to the block, I think. And I have no idea how we're going to get that out. I'm envisioning that we may have to take off the intake manifold or some ridiculous thing to get to that. There's a little, like, tin down here I'm going to take off. And maybe there's a tin over here. But I don't know how we're going to get to those bolts. This might be a really big project. See what happens. Okay, so I got access to it. What we ended up having to do was take off this whole panel, cowl panel from the side of the tractor, take off the blower housing pieces, and now I should be able to get, let's take the spark plug out, and now I should be able to get straight in here to those two Phillips screws to get the fuel pump out. So let's see if we can do it. Okay, I got the fuel pump out here. Wasn't that bad once we got access to it. Now we gotta take the uh, new, as I'll call it, China pump here, and uh, figure out exactly which fittings we need so that it fits in there the right way. We need a straight one and a right angle, so we'll see what we can find. All right, so we got the new fittings and the China pump, and we'll put this on, and. I'm going to put a hose clamp on this side instead of that spring clamp. We'll see what we got. All right, so we put new fuel filter on. Made all new fuel lines that go from the carb here all the way back. And uh, we should be in good shape. Well guys, I hope you liked this video here on getting the uh, fuel pump fixed and we'll see where we go from here, but uh, I'd like to change the engine oil on this tractor before winter comes, but for now it's fully functional and it works and if we get some snow this winter maybe I can fire it up and try to move some, but otherwise I uh, hope you enjoyed this series.